Hi guys, those of you that uh, do look at my shorts will uh, recognise this as uh, what was pulled out from underneath the dashboard in my Audi Allroad. So this is a tracker, this is an older style tracker. Um, this I don't believe has any 3G or 4G capability but we'll find out soon. And um, as I mentioned it was found underneath the dashboard of my car while I was uh, doing some repair work. I have a tracker on my vehicle. Uh, anyone with uh, any concern about their vehicle will fit a tracker to a modern vehicle and to be honest the trackers that we install now are uh, smaller than this little part here. This thing is quite frankly enormous and quite old. No idea what the date of this is but hopefully we'll find something and uh, it's not going to be more than um, 2006 and to be fair I see a date here of 2906 or a number here 2906 so that may be it but it's a two part setup and we'll tear in and have a look at it so this was wired into the vehicle underneath the dashboard and we have what is quite obviously a ground supply and a power supply instantly. This was wired straight into a 40 amp circuit without any fusing, but that looks like a really bodgy type fuse arrangement in there. Let's just slice into that. I reckon that is possibly a soldered, just a soldered uh, 2.25 uh, millimeter fuse. He says, oh, as you get in here, if I'd have uh, thought and brought over some cutters, I'd be doing better, wouldn't I? Uh, yes, I'm slicing towards myself, I know. Come on, how long did it take getting to a fuse? That's better, that felt like that touched metal. So it's got the world's thickest heat shrink on it. That was still not in. Yep, they have quite literally just soldered a 25mm fuse in line, as you can see, it, uh, although to be fair I was applying unreasonable force to that. So, oh it's an HRC, even better we've used an HRC. Oh you know what, there might actually be a fuse holder on that. Nope, that's a PCB mounted fuse I've used there. Wonderful, good start. And I, um, this is going to be down to the installation engineers, not the actual manufacturer. But as you can see, we've got a really dodgy, quite nasty looking crimp in there. Um, it's two parts. So we've got a connector here which pulls out. And that is just a normal header. Um, they've added uh, outside moulding to it to actually make it into something... Uh, that can be used that way. So let's have a look at this bit. So what is this? This says motion sensing only. So what do we think's in here? I suspect this must have some form of GPS in it. Well that's a good start. We have a patch GPS patch antenna there. And this is all heat state together so we know what we do with uh, heat take stake stuff. We put a spudger underneath it and snap the end of the heat stakes off. Uh, oh, there's a lot more in here than I was expecting. So I was expecting just a GPS receiver. I suppose that could still be just a GPS receiver. Can we get those cans off? Should we bring you down? Can we get these cans off? We can indeed. Interestingly, we've got uh, a connection for an external area on that. I so we have we do have just a GPS uh, receiver here. I'm just trying to see the logo on the chip without destroying it. I don't recognise the logo, I can't even read the number, but that looks like that is quite simply just a GPS receiver. There's an awful lot of pins there for that. Well, I guess we might not be using them all. No, we do appear to be using them all. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six signals there. 
and power and something else. Hmm. We can't really turn much into this and I am tempted to power it up and see where we get with it. 0962, and that's not a date. That's not a date. I don't think there was anything on these cans, was there? No. So, disappointingly, that's all there is to that. But that is almost certainly, I would imagine, just a GPS receiver. I can't see there being much more in here. We do have this large solid wire here which is capacitively coupled to the board. So that might actually be part of an aerial type of engine in the cable. So we'll put that away for now. Let's have a look at this. So this is a nice solid unit. It's heavy. Uh, what have we got going on there? I wouldn't be surprised to find this to be completely potted. We have a seal there to allow some kind of breathing. Saft Val is the manufacturer. Uh, it is E marked. Let's just bring you out just a little bit. So let's take the only screws we've got out. Now, quite often with these, they have the ability to disable the vehicle, but with just three wires here. Um, the black wasn't doing anything, that could have been a control, and that was grounded. That feels like that wire changes gauge in there. Oh, we're not potted. We have a connector on the end here, though. So we have a four-way connector here. And that looks like a rubber bung for something like a SIM slot. But there's no sign of it. There's all sorts of little pokey through -y type bits that don't go anywhere. That grommet looks like it's actually removable. We've got another one there that is for something that quite obviously is not fitted. So that's obviously changed design in a while. We've got a little grommet to go on the, a little seal to go on that engine connector. Can we get this out? Oh, there's a battery in here. That's not a good start, is it? So we've got a battery in there by the looks, which I'd expect. Most trackers do have a form of battery backup. Can we hook this battery out? So this PCB, there's the battery. Battery has leaked. Um, that is a lithium battery. That is just two. Uh, there we go. That is just two lithium camera type batteries hooked together by the looks. I don't think that's anything rechargeable. I don't know that we're going to have any luck getting into that either. Um, I already feel like I should have worn gloves for that. Yep, they are just lithium camera battery type things, so, uh, oh, you know what? They're super glued together. Why would you do that? That is that characteristic white nastiness of super glue. Now, I wondered if that in there was super glue, but it turns out it probably was. They are tag cells, so there is at least that. And they are wired in series. They are 3 volt batteries and their shelf date was March 2017. Okay, so what have we got here? On the back, there, we have a Texas Instruments device, a 61EX581. I suspect that's a custom chip. We have what is quite obviously all power regulation and probably battery control there. I am seeing nothing sim-like, which confirms that this is almost certainly using its own radio frequency. I will pop that down here anything I find after investigating this after filming. Let's have some of these cans off. So this is absolutely not going back in the vehicle. 
so that all looks RF like I don't know that this is going to reveal an awful lot that is also RF like that looks to be a power RF power amplifier in there so this is obviously using its own band now I wonder because we've got filters and other things going on over here and I wonder if we are indeed driving that orange wire in the wiring harness as an antenna but it also makes me wonder where the intelligence is is it all in that chip again that is all passives so my guess is we have a receiver we have a transmitter uh, possibly a mixer there and then this is obviously quite highly custom so uh, there is a MOSFET there and SFW 9640 I recognize that uh, what would we be doing without MOSFET because that MOSFET is capable of sinking a lot more power than that edge connector would ever handle. Uh, crystal there is 164.175, megahertz. That kind of makes sense. What other what else have we could we've got a couple of crystals here? What else have we got? 20.945. Why does that one ring a bell? And eight megahertz. So I don't think, looking at this, there is enough intelligence to be doing frequency synth synthesis or anything in here. There is another crystal in there. One six four point one seven five. We'll have a look at that frequency and see what it is. So yes, that frequency is actually a dedicated UK-wide channel for them. Um, now obviously there is radio communications going on with this because they can activate it, turn it on, turn it off. So I'm guessing there is a repeater network kicking around that they can access or they are transmitting at one hell of a high power from regional area, regional sort of centres. Um, but we also know that the police can track and activate these as well. The technology in this is quite old. I mean, a lot of the earlier ones with these a lot of the earlier ones are these simply transmitted a radio signal which the police triangulated. I'm trying to get hold of one of those base stations now um, so we can have a look at it. But this one does have a GPS receiver in it so um, we're probably transmitting GPS data. I'm just wondering if there is a date on that chip. There is not. So no, I mean there's not a lot to it. It's just a radio transceiver and uh, a GPS receiver. It would be interesting to power it up and see what it's doing, but uh, we can't at the moment. Anyway, take care. Bye.